deep in the dark of yesterday, the official Dungeons and Dragons YouTube channel released a pretty significant video titled One D and D. And today we're going to cover everything that you need to know about this next chapter in Dungeons and Dragons. So welcome back to the Fantasy Guild, and without further ado, let's get into this video. So the important thing to remember about everything that we're going to discuss and the other channels are discussing is that this is play test material. This means it is not official yet and the guys who are in charge of this are looking for as much feedback from players as possible. The big thing is that there is no more additions. Additions are gone, it's a thing of the past and to quote their video, the next chapter is much bigger than that. It will be one game that will be continually built upon. So in other words, it is one D&D to rule them all. Going forward, it will only be minor tweaks to specific mechanics or material. So let's, let's talk about the big things that are part of this video. The first thing is races. When it comes to races, there are now no longer any ability score improvements. This is now going to be worked into your choice of background. A great part of this will it will help relieve stereotypes for things such as Oh, an orc must be strong, so they must be a barbarian or a fighter. No, I'm actually really excited about this change because it means a lot more flexibility when it comes to building our characters that we want to play and roleplay. The other big thing is that there is a new race coming called the Ardling. And from my understanding, they are kind of a direct juxtaposition on tieflings. But you can read more about them on their official website. Among the other changes to various other races, the big one that's causing a lot of controversy is that humans now get a point of inspiration after they finish a long rest. But we'll cover a wee bit more about that later on in the video. The second big thing is the rework to backgrounds. A lot of different backgrounds have been fleshed out and they've added in a lot of new ones. Each background is also becoming a lot more customizable so that it can fit your character perfectly. As I mentioned earlier, there's no more racial ability improvements and that's because within the backgrounds, they have now got these following options. You can either increase one ability score by two along with one other ability score by one or the other option is that you can increase three different ability scores by one. Along with this a background will also provide you with two skill proficiencies, one chosen language, one tool proficiency and hey you get a bonus little 50 gold thrown in. Another huge talking point of this video is that feats are now enrooted in backgrounds. This leads us perfectly into the third part which is feats. They have added an absolute ton of new feats and they've made a bunch of adjustments to existing ones. Each feat now has a level requirement attached to it but there is some level of concern already within the wider community that this link between backgrounds and feats and feats being able to be unlocked from as early as level one can have the potential for some really game breaking mechanics. It can almost make some levels of gameplay within your games almost redundant. So I do feel that there will be a wider discussion on this in the very soon future. As I mentioned earlier, the fourth big thing is a rework to how inspiration works. Inspiration in the past was usually up to the DM's discretion. However, now they have implemented certain mechanics so that you can basically force inspiration on you or another creature or ally. For example, the musician feat can give a player inspiration after they play a song every short or long rest. The fifth big thing that comes from this update is that there has been a lot of work, a lot of rework done to conditions. Conditions like slowed or grappled. There have been a lot of updates and this is actually really exciting because it means when you get into one of those more unique positions as a player, it's a lot more clear cut on what you can and can't do, which makes for some really interesting situations and scenes that we can play out. This will also continue to get a lot more exciting when they add these changes into certain spells that create certain conditions. A massive thing, is there has been a complete overhaul of the spell lists for each class. There are now three main spell lists and those are the Arcane, the Divine and the Primal. Arcane is normally what you would think of when it comes to things like wizards or sorcerers or warlocks or bards. The Divine spell list is for paladins and for clerics and finally the Primal is more of a natural kind of spell list which naturally fits well into ranger 
and Druid. The big thing that I think will cause a lot of stir, I've already seen it in a couple of other comments on YouTube under videos like this, is that critical hits no longer apply to magical spells. In fact, in the text, it strictly says critical hits only apply with weapons or unarmed strikes. So if you're going to cast that big badass spell and you're hoping to roll a nat 20, well, apparently it doesn't count for a critical hit anymore. From my understanding anyway. Anyway, moving on to the last big thing, which I am personally really, really excited about, is that with D&D Beyond, Dungeons & Dragons are officially working on a digital play space. What this means is there's going to be customizable miniatures and maps that you can play on your device to set a scene for your party. Why I'm so excited about this is that for groups that play over Discord or international groups, this just gives another element to storytelling and setting the scene for both the DM and players that I think will really bring the game to a new level. But there will be fully customizable maps and a map released with every source material. So those are the essentials that came from the new D&D video, One D&D. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and thank you so much for watching. If I forgot anything, I'm sorry and please, again, just let me know down below. But guys, this has been the Fantasy Guild, but until next time, peace.